Okay, guys, we're back. Jim Dell EDU, we're back for part 26. Uh, what we're going to do, we are going to continue adding uh, some line, uh, some PHP code inside API.php. Uh, part, part 25, we left here. We stop it here. And now let's continue, okay? Uh, let me put uh, uh, this. Uh, this is. Uh, I'm going to put something like this. Put second. That's uh, the second part. Okay, this is where we start. we started for part 26. And adding some uh, PHP code uh, because let me show you something. Every time we output, uh, we redirect the, the user to the conversation page. Uh, we will send the user straight to the URL and then send it to the messages.php. We do not create messages.php file yet inside of uh, admin.php. Let's create it. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy messages.php, copy, and go right click on admin folder, uh, save it. Uh, messages.php and okay now we have our uh, messages.php uh, let's go back but we do not add some code inside that file yet but let's continue with api.php now we have to create every time we, we send uh, the user to the new uh, messages chat messages and then if there's any error, error message or if you do not send the user to the messages.php we have to uh, exit and send an error message that said the Put it this way. I'm going to change. Put uh, the request is no longer available. Okay. Now we have to create. After that, we have to create a new uh, messages. Okay. We have to create a new messages. A set up a new messages for uh, for a new user. Uh, that's why I'm going to say. Creating a new message. Okay. Using an if statement. And here, use uh, get here. Okay. Message. Uh, now, let me. Sh uh, now, what I'm going to say. We have to check. We have to make sure that the user is as associated with the conversation. Let's check. We have to make sure that the user is associated with the conversation. Um, we have to check uh, that the is um, associated uh, with the conversation and by using a um, statement uh, take the ID from a uh, table call conversation use the word close First account sender ID or we use uh, let me account uh, receiver ID equal question mark and here space 
and space for status equal to open a semicolon. Okay. Let's uh, execute that statement. by posting our ID Session equal statement. I want you to fetch Oops. Uh, oh, let me go back. Cool. Yeah, okay, let me pass out. Uh, now, if the user is not associated uh, with the conversation, we have to send output an error message, that, uh, which means that if we send the user, we accept the request from the user, we send it to the uh, message, like if a new user, a new user, you cannot send a new user to an existing uh, uh, chat log. We have to assign a new user to a uh, new chat log. That's why, um, if not conversation, so we have to accident uh, send an error message. Uh, let me add some notes here. Would uh, user uh, is not uh, associated uh, with the conversation, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to output. Uh, error message and exit okay here like this error okay I'm going to put a put a double quote first error and here again double quote here's the message the Conversation does not exist. All right, and put a semicolon at the end. Okay. Now I want you to go keep here, keep this one. Uh, that's this if statement. This is the close statement for the if statement. Now let's go over here. Uh, now remember, the admin, the user can send attachment to the to the. Uh, send attachment to the admin the admin as well in return can send attachment and we have to address this now this is uh let me add some comment this is where we, we are going to uh work with the attachment okay and this i'm gonna say attachment equal like this single quote okay now we define it we define attachment right here as we define and as we define as we define attachment and we have to check to see if the user has loaded any files okay um let's uh, check if a user has uh, loaded any files like this okay to check by using an if statement okay and here uh, I'm going to say files okay what 
watch file files um, attachment in it you have to enable attachment um, oops, enable okay and now if the user send the attachment we have to we have to iterate all the uploaded file now how are you gonna do that let me show you how uh, this is uh, I'm going to set for let me put some note let me put some note here activate all the uploaded files here by using extension uh, ext okay and then we need a path info uh, for files Okay. Oops. Uh, our files. And also we need the the files name. Uh, single quote. This is the path in, path info extension. I'm to use the uh, info like this. Extend extension. Okay. And now next line of code, guys. We have to make uh, check that the file name will contain only a unique. Uh, unique code to prevent a mul uh, multiple file with the same name. We have to prevent multiple file with the same name. But uh, it doesn't make any sense if we let uh, we get a multiple file with the same na name. We have to uh, avoid that uh, by okay. I'm going to say um, right for put some note prevent uh, multiple with the same name okay and to do so we are going to say file path okay this is the file path right here um, and this is where now we are going to work with file upload directory okay extension now next guys uh, I'm going to uh, ensure that the file is valid All right. the, 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 uh, the file is is valid and using a if statement valid like not um, empty okay working working with files okay and then this is where i'm going to save uh oops temp name again okay and then now let's add uh, the size and mark now we have to give him maximum allowed to upload the file size 
and then we have to allow upload file size okay and I'm going to bring this down okay I space down in you have to do it uh, in area all right first thing we need a um, single quote and enter that remove the comma space that space with um string to uh, it's supposed to string to lower yes remove this right here and then i'm going to call the extension yeah this is an export single quote file type yep uh, file type allowed it's yeah this is a uh, file types yes is a uh, um, string to lower extension Ex explode um, uh, let's see make sure everything is fine yeah and file type uh, okay yeah now Now, is, if everything worked uh, perfectly correctly, now we can move on and let the file upload. Okay. Um, we can add uh, some notes right here. Everything looks good. Now we have to up load it upload the everything is good upload the file okay now everything is good now we can upload the file this is what we say uh move uploaded file okay and uh, when it files we call this um files and here we move this right here we need uh, oops temp name okay uh, i comma a single quote that's the for the directory this is where we call the uh, the, 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 the the directory right here and all the I'm going to say this is a file path right here okay and then now guys this is uh, where this is where we have to append the new file URL to the attachment variable this is where we have to open the new file you are okay and that's why I call attachment okay file path right here okay all right here we have uh, three closing is that we have one two three and I want you to go next after the last one and attachment we have to trim all right now guys we have to insert the new message into the database how are we gonna insert the new message um inside the inside the database i'm going to use a statement to do so insert uh, 
we have to insert the new message into the data database and using statement okay uh, insert into a table call messages and I want to insert I'm going to insert conversation ID and we have to account ID uh, we have uh, here message also uh, we do have attachment and we have um, uh, submit it okay and add it this is these are the these are the value guys is these are the values the first one question mark we don't know we don't know yet and then we need uh, five because we have a uh, one two three four five okay we need a uh, five question mark two comma three four and five and put a semicolon go to the next line now this is um um this is uh, where we have to this is where we have to update we have to update the the steps by doing so using a statement update my table account and I want you to uh, set the status to double quote uh, occupied where id equal question mark that we don't know we don't know yet and let uh, statement execute that statement uh, open my station let's check the account id okay now this is now this is now i'm going to output the success message we have to output the Success message. Okay. I'm going to nope. Okay, exit and do it this way. Double quote message. success okay now the uh, this is now guys I'm going to get the general info in general get the general info action info 
now this is where i'm going to retrieve all the now inside of if if statement for the general info i'm going to retrieve the total number of act active account i'm going to retrieve the total number of requests i'm going to retrieve the uh, total number of uh, messages and i'm going to output them okay the, uh, this is inside of uh, this uh, block of code this is all right now i'm going to add this is uh say uh for the uh, general info i'm going to say uh retrieve the total number of the active accounts by using statement okay and select count as total and form my table account where uh, last seen and did that sub yeah did uh, so yeah and go inside here done yet and for the interval of uh, five uh, minutes all right press my colon maybe like this okay let's go to the next line and statement i'm going to execute that statement this and we need this guy and check the date uh date format yeah this one is okay space and i s That uh, fetch colon. Okay. Um, guys, now next, what I'm going to do? This is where we have to uh, retrieve the. This is where I'm going to retrieve at this time the total. Uh, retrieve the. We retrieve the. Here we retrieve the total number of account of the active account now we are going to uh, retrieve the total uh, number of the request okay uh same i'm going to use the i'm going to use a statement oh uh, what i'm going to do oh i can copy uh, make it sure that I'm going to copy this line of code and uh, paste it here. I'm going to make some changes, guys. A statement video, prepare everything. This as total, okay? From table called account where, where this uh, change the where put um, uh, status here equal remove. Uh, Right here was equal to double quote okay put waiting here okay and now next line we have to execute that statement by doing so okay 
like this as simple like that and uh, oops no re request remove this request to do statement I want you to fetch column here okay all right next uh th this is where i'm going to retrieve guys uh let's retrieve the retrieve the total number of of messages okay uh of messages here by using statement as well as uh, total form messages now I'm going to use uh, join my table call conversations for C on C that ID conversation ID and okay now and space and then let's go down here see that uh, see that account account sender ID Equal question mark Can't receive an ID. Okay, and then go next after the closing space. We use the uh, work close account ID. And here, okay, statement let uh, we are going to uh, let me execute that statement, guys. Why doing like this with? Uh, Oops, uh, that I sign, yep. A session, okay, uh, chat account ID. account ID again and put a semicolon here now let me work with our uh, messages total for a message to the statement fetch column And now this is where I'm going to output everything right here. I'm going to output everything by uh, exit. Okay. User online total. Okay. 
and we need a single quote space all right and we call account total I want you to follow me here when I put the account total total here that create another single quote all right follow me put a comma space here and put a sing a double quote put a messages total click click this one uh, let's take messages total go after the closing double quote put a colon and we have uh, go inside here space space like this and messages total again all right and we need uh, a single quote all right and then we need um, a double quote we're going to put a request request total and go after the closing and put it right here and go inside here let's put a uh, space that space and bring it down now call request total again okay another single quote comma space oops double quote uh, account status right here okay uh, I'll go after the closing quote put a colon let's see uh, here we have this guy here and here put up uh, after the colon put a uh, another double code go inside um next after that i can sell this guy i want you to put uh let's see this is the and put a single code inside here and like this and call account Let's see. Go here. Let's see if we probably get too many. Sorry. We need the uh, okay. I want you to remove the last single quote, uh, pair of single quote. Remove it. Okay. We're supposed to get uh, one single uh one single quote and one uh, double quote uh, the, for the for the closing let's see we have this one uh let's see uh here this okay this is the closing single quote this is the opening this is the closing and for the inside this is the opening for the double this is uh, the closing and let me see if everything is fine uh use your online total and here here uh let's see if everything should be fine yeah account total uh yeah and then here here we have uh, messages total close here okay and we have our messages total again and here we have a uh, request total okay and here we have request total account status here okay and I can and I can okay that which is uh which is uh, uh which is fine now we have uh, this closing and go after this one here now this is um, uh, where we are going to um, set our account put a, a I'm going to put an, an endpoint um, for the account Adding an endpoint for the our account. Um, go to set account um, endpoint. Uh, add an if statement. Uh, okay. 
uh, with uh, get action okay now we have to make sure that the, uh, the ID exists and using a if statement to uh, check that ID okay uh, let's pass our code now we I'm going to um, let me make something for you retrieve I'm going to retrieve the the account from the database okay by using a statement okay and select everything from table called account where um, ID equal question mark and statement we have to execute that statement get um, ID Oh, we so one is missing. We may, we need that one more closing. Oops. Oops. No, we need that one more closing. This is uh, here. It's fine. Let's see. Oh no 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 no. Let let me code that again. Okay. We need the uh, okay here. It is fine here. And then yeah, this is the get. Oh yeah, and then now ID. Okay, now it's okay. Now account equal statement fetch. Okay. There is no account, we have to exit and display error, error message, error, okay, this is the message, the account does not exist, alright, and go here, here we have to exit here and I'm going to say JSON and code here and for account okay oh, so uh, next this is where okay and then we have one to closing I want you to go next after that next what we we are going to uh, next what we are going to do next this is where i'm going to say we are going to um, accept uh, the request now it's where we're going to accept the the request here okay Action. Now 
now request okay and then make sure that we have to uh, ensure that uh, the account is waiting for an operator this is because when you send the when the user sent the the request the uh the users the user should wait for who is available okay all right so uh so if uh, action request and then um i'm going to say waiting for and okay and by using a statement where I'm going to select um, everything everything from account where this size is equal to waiting okay and and ID equal question mark as we don't know yet and then use um we need a statement to we have to execute that statement um here get the id all right Uh, now this is what I'm going to speak for uh, statement fetch right. now, now inside of this uh, block of code guys that uh, if this if statement uh, this is uh, where the action account is waiting so we have to update the account status to idle okay um i'm going to say we have to update the account uh, okay by using a statement okay and we have to update um okay. and then we have to set it where sales equal double quote okay where id equal question mark And then we have to we have to execute that statement get ID and semicolon now we now what I'm going to do I'm going to check to see if the conversation already exists guys and then if the conversation already exists uh we have to output the message send it redirected to the url messages that php send it to the messages that php uh page okay and uh, here let uh, uh let continue on uh go here and let me do this add something like that for you okay you have to check if uh, exist okay uh, I use in a statement Oops. Okay. 
you have to select everything from conversation or uh, conversation where okay there i can send the id equal question mark or the account receiver uh, let me bring this let's see yes okay uh or i can't receive the id equal a question mark go here and okay i can't send the id equal again or count receiver id equal question mark and okay the status equal to open double code okay I have to execute that statement. Open session. My chat account ID. Here. and get oops get id semicolon at the end okay now Now, now this is a, if the conversation. Now this is a, we create another if statement to check make sure if the conversation already exists. So this is where we have to redirect the uh, that conversation to message that PHP. So um, this comma we have to output. Okay, let's see I'll put message uh, to the URL message.php like this. Okay. And double quote URL. You know the double quote inside we put our uh, message at PHP here id equal with um another single quote and inside we put this we call conversation and oops and grab the the uh, the id all right semicolon okay and then here this closing here I want you to go here and bring this down. All right. So now what I'm going to do, guys, this is where we have to check if the conversation does not exist. So now we have to create a new, a new one. So conversation does not exist. 
we have to create a, a new one uh, using statement okay to do so we have to insert into table called compensation what we are going to insert uh, send the id uh account receiver id and we need the uh, we need a sub uh, submit it and we need uh, the the status right here okay these are the values here uh space bring this down right here uh, oops the first is a question mark we have uh, three okay and then put another yeah one two three starts open open okay now we say statement we have to execute that statement uh, by opening our session uh, for the chat account id also let's uh, get get id and the did the format why like this Now this is where I'm going to um, output, okay, the redirect link. Output the URL, and uh, to do so, we have to we have to say exit and uh, double quote here, and we say URL, okay, guys. Uh, Double quote again and send it to messages that oops. Oh, we put a message. I want you to change message to messages, guys. It's supposed to be messages that oops, messages that php, not message that oops, oh, come on, messages that php. Let's see, uh, let's see. I think we're good. Okay, messages that php, yeah. Uh, message.php right, message.php should mark id equal and a single quote okay okay last uh, last time insert id um okay And then now this is uh bring this bring this up this is where i'm going to use uh l statement here uh, let me see I'm checking on something quick. Okay, and let me see. Else, we have to. Else, exit. Yes, okay. Let me. Uh, double quote. Error. Double quote again. So the. The I'm going to say the request is no longer available. Uh, let um, 
get this with this. Okay, I'm checking to see the I'm checking the closing. Yeah, there is um there's one. We we need a one more one more closing because if you click here, uh, this is for if statement open here, this is the closing. If you click here, this is the closing right here, and then this one is this for else else statement, and then we need one for the first if. Okay, the f uh, the first if here, if you click here, that's why we need the closing. We have to add the closing here because when you click here and as you can see this one this is when you click here this is the opening this is the closing now we are fine and then i want you to go here okay uh next guys this is where we are going to create the delete request now we create the accept request uh, okay accept the request this block of code uh, is from here to here for the accept request and then we can uh, decline the request we can uh, uh, decline or delete, delete the request okay so let's add some some our last block of code for uh, inside of this file for the delete or de uh, decline the request uh, using if statement okay action this time let's take it is our action and id uh, get action okay Uh, oops update update uh, status right here all right now we have to update the account status right here update let me add something we have to update the account status right here by uh, using statement and we can say update the table account and i want you to set the status uh equal we don't know yet question mark and they were oops where id equal Oh, something's missing. Let me go to edit here, here, here. Uh, go back to the previous. Uh, let's see. Remove. Remove. Okay. Um, Self equal question mark. Where, where size equal? Where, 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 where are we at? Uh, update statement. Prepare, uh, update account set size equal question mark. And where ID equal question mark and semicolon. Yes. Also, now we have to use a statement. So we have to execute that statement. Okay. Session chat account ID. Now this is a uh, after doing so. This is a where where I'm going to output the success messages. Okay. Success 
uh, the success messages here by yeah, exit oops uh, go inside and put it this way and call message like this here and then put um, success here semicolon all right and then now let's uh, add our last line of code and here we have to encode the the result to to json format here exit okay double code error no action Whoa. no no action provided semicolon okay all right guys so this this is the last block of code okay for this file uh, api.php now what we are going to do we are going to test it we are going to uh, see if we can accept uh, the request from the user okay let's uh, let's go back to our browser we are going to test this to see if api.php works properly now uh let's refresh the browser okay now we have click on it accept now i have to uh clear uh, let me uh, I'm going to clear my browser history uh, just for two, two, two. Doesn't matter for four weeks. Okay, remove this and okay. Now you're gonna send me to okay. That's fine. Uh, I log in. Okay, now we in. Go back here. This is this is the request. Accept. No. Okay. Maybe you know why, guys? Because um, we cannot accept any request. That's why I just try to show you something. Because we're supposed to. Uh, we should get uh, messages. That PHP file. Not to accept it because once you click on the accept. Uh, let me go back to the code. Uh, let me scroll up as you can see here accept accept uh, when you accept the request uh, you pass a go you send the, the when you once you click on the button you have to open messages.php to get the conversation with the user that's why we we created the uh, here inside admin messages.php but we don't have any code yet inside messages.php all right um yes uh, this is uh, where i'm going to stop for part 26. Uh, in the next video we will uh, create uh, add some code inside messages.php guys all right so yeah uh once again thank you for watching thank you don't forget to subscribe guys uh comment uh i want you to tell me guys what do you think of this uh, project and also all of the projects that I've been working on for a couple of a uh, couple of weeks. And what do you think? Do you want to see them? Do you want me to uh, make tutorial with them or, or upload them to my website so that you can access access to them? I don't know. I want you to say something, okay? And yeah, like the tutorial, uh, yeah, to help this channel to grow. We want we want to grow, guys. All right. I see you in the next one, the next uh, tutorial.